the watery eye and sore throat. It's all very irritative symptoms, and it bugs us when we have it, but it rarely ever causes severe illness or any follow-up issues. And it, it gets transmitted by sneezing? Yeah, so yeah. it gets transmitted by uh -huh. air. So when you're in a room with somebody who's coughing and sneezing, yeah. you breathe in those droplets, you can get the cold. The other way it's transmitted is on surfaces, so things like doorknobs, tables. If you touch a surface that somebody with the cold has actually contaminated, and then you touch your face, you will get the cold from getting that. And those creepy crawlers last a little longer than one would take, don't they? They don't have any surfaces. Actually, so the common cold virus actually can survive for up to 18 hours on surfaces like tables and doorknobs. So really important if somebody is sick around you to regularly decontaminate surfaces to stop yourself from getting sick. You know, and, and uh, just talking about when you know you're getting a cold, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, right? Just you feel like you're getting it and it goes away. How uh, contagious before all these symptoms? Yeah. You can be contagious yeah. before the cold really displays itself, yeah. right? So you can be contagious for up to three days before you have these symptoms, most commonly one day before symptoms, and then you remain contagious for at least about five days after your symptoms begin. So just because you don't have symptoms doesn't mean you can't get other people's symptoms. Still have to work like that. It went through our building and it's like you still have to work and everyone's like, don't go out to eat, talk to everyone together. Right? And I'm like, okay, so I'm walking around like that somewhere. Prevention tips are? Yeah, so first of all, number one, this has nothing to do with cold temperature, so that's an old wise tale. Don't go outside so, with your hair when you're going to get sick. That doesn't give you the okay. viral gun. Second of all, there is no effective treatment and there is no effective vaccine. So if you want to prevent getting the problem, the most important thing is frequent hand washing with soap and water, decontaminating surfaces, and using alcohol hand sanitizer. Okay, happy birthday with washing the ass. Uh, <laughs> okay, the flu. Let's talk about the flu. Yes. That's what the flu looks like. Isn't that pretty? So it's a little bit of a scarier looking virus. It, is. it, it is. looks like it's got suction cups to cut it. Yeah. Right? How is it transmitted? So it's transmitted very similarly to common cold, to the common cold. So it transmits through the air, so through droplets, and on hard surfaces. So again, when somebody coughs or sneezes on the surface, and you touch that surface, you can get the flu. And then it's transmitted through through sneezing and stuff like that. So it looks so much like the like the cold. How is the difference then? So the big difference when you have a cold, those are symptoms that are all usually above the neck, so yeah. watery eyes, the yeah, yeah. etc. But the flu is all over your body, so that's dry cough, the muscle wow. aches, the yeah. fever, much more a below the neck presentation. And how long does it stay with us? So it's very similar to the cold. So people are infectious for a couple of days before symptoms start to up to about five days after symptoms begin. I'm contagious. Well, before or well, during or after, when okay. symptoms start, so about 24 hours typically before symptoms start, but sometimes for as much as three days before symptoms start, you're contagious. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> How are you supposed to know? 